Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Juanito here, bringing to you another episode of our 21 career mode, Newcomers Knowledge. And as you guys did see in the last episode, right, we are pre-recording a few episodes ahead since I am going camping this weekend. Um, I don't know why I'm going camping. I told my buddy I would, so now I have to. But right with that being said, we will look to end the January transfer window today. We will also go ahead and simulate Chelsea play Aston Villa, simulate Arsenal, and play Leeds United in this episode. And potentially, right, if I remember correctly, the next FA Cup round will not be drawn until February, so we should be the good there. I was planning on throwing a few more games in here, right, but I did remember the FA Cup draw, so that won't happen. We will just go through the four games and end the and end the transfer window today. I would have done it in the last episode, but eight games in one episode, or my bad, nine games actually, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine games in one episode just wasn't good. We were gonna sim like probably five or six of those anyways, so no. But I will go ahead and quickly I will go ahead and quickly adjust the starting 11 right since we do have that game against Aston Villa and I will add a few more names to the transfer list to the to the transfer hub as we to bring in play on loan to strengthen the team and I will see you guys in a second and we get a we get a 1-1 draw Sima in the 55th minute and Pulisic drawing at level in the 72nd and that's all they wrote we get a draw arsenal lose i believe leicester city lost as well um we now are going to turn our focus to this game against aston villa in the fa cup we do have to reach the round of 16 is what the board wants so thankfully we have a not too difficult not too difficult draw right now Jones Phil Jones from Manchester United is loaned in we do get a transfer offer for Buendia 82 rated Milan offer a 60.3 but we will go ahead and reject that the reason being Buendia is staying here at least until the end of the season Hanley is worried that we are not looking to bring in players as we did go ahead and lose a few. So we now have Phil Jones in, right? Phil Jones, I believe, is 75 rated. So with that being said, right, he would start over, over Hanley. And Puki will now go back into the starting lineup instead of Junior. And just like that, right, we bring in Phil Jones to bring in a center back position. We will look to bring in a, I believe it's a right mid and a left back. So we will go ahead and try and do that now just before this game against Aston Villa. And I will see you guys at kickoff. All right, guys, we are back, and we are here at the starting 11 for both teams. For ourselves, we have Van de Voort in goal, Frimpong, Givardio, Phil Jones, and Giannolis as our back four. We are rotating since we do have tired legs from that mid game midweek against Chelsea. We have Alvarez and Asuncao as our CDMs. Sima on the right, Junior on the left, Buendia, Akam, and Puki up top. Kamal was tired, so he is getting a rest for this game. He is on the bench in case we need him. Hopefully, we won't, though. Aston Villa start with Martinez in goal, El Mohamadi, Angles, Haas, and Taylor as their back four. Nakamba and Sanson as their two CDMs. Triore on the right, Grealish on the left, Melendo at Cam and Barry up top. A, a somewhat different team from the last time we played. Grealish wasn't there last time, so he might make the difference for them. We bring in Phil Jones and Frimpong to save legs for both Hanley, who was extremely tired, right? Like... He had maybe half stamina. And 
Now we find Buendia through with a beautiful pass from Puki, but Buendia can't slot it home. I don't know what's happening. I am starting off a bit rusty. So hopefully, right, we can find this goal with Sima, but it is headed back for another corner kick. Apparently, Buendia is the player to watch. So hopefully, right, he can do something here today. Sima is there. Sima did win that header, but it is just a goal kick. We're starting off on the right foot, but we haven't gotten the chance to put it away into the back of the net yet. On this kind of quick counter. Puki now with the ball. Puki should be putting that past the keeper, and he does start celebrating in front of the Norwich fans here at home at Carroll Road. Take a 1-0 lead thanks to our beautiful striker, the man, the myth, the legend, Timu Puki. Team Puki all the way. Let's go ahead and slot that home. Very difficult angle, but Emmy Martinez just wasn't covering it well enough. And Puki finds that small enough space to put it there. Just hard enough to make a pass to keep it without him reacting fast enough. And we lead now in the ninth minute of the game. Puki with his first goal in the FA Cup. And hopefully many more to come. Sima, I got an itchy nose. Come out with Tim Cool. Van de Voort does concede now in the 23rd minute. Melendo makes it. Norwich won. Aston Villa won. Terrible defending from myself. I do believe Martin Van de Voort could have done more there, but he. I, I don't know look at here like what is that animation right he literally lets it go through his legs I don't know how but it just happens and we are level now we are not enjoying that I did have an itchy nose but there are no excuses right so let's go ahead and try to find ourselves the second goal of the game now a couple minutes left in the half right Asuncao will be looking to take this by himself but he does find Puki through that gap now and Puki does put that into the bottom left hand corner Emmy Martinez had no chance Puki makes it Norwich to Aston Villa one in the 40th minute five minutes just before the half and hopefully we can hold on to this lead and extend it in the second half but we will have to wait and see as we do have five minutes but it doesn't freaking matter. Timu Puki, two goals in the FA Cup. Two goals on the night. And we lead once again. Whew. Hopefully, right? Hopefully, we can extend this. And we will go 3-1 up at halftime, maybe? Hold on here. And we do go 3-1 up just before the half. Second minute of aggregate time. Timu Puki gets his hat trick. He says, hey boss, I'm back in the starting lineup. Here you go. Sima shouldn't start over me. Bam, just like that, right? Pace isn't everything, he says. And Puki now has three on the night and three in the cup. What a performance from him. Proving to me why he is our starting striker. Doesn't need pace to score goals. He just needs nice assists. Asunkao couldn't get there before the defender who gives it back to back to us. Puki does find Buendia. Buendia does find Sima and Sima will go ahead and make it 4-1 on the night in the 53rd minute, 6 minutes after halftime. My bad, 6 minutes. 8 minutes after halftime, we now lead 4-1 on the night. That should be us due to the next round. And... We are comfortably in the seat once more. No struggles here, right? I will go ahead and probably make some subs here very soon. We will now go ahead and find Buendia who finds Puki in his stride. Puki should be making this. 5-1 on the night. Four goals for him. And they are talking about our second round, our second leg 
against Arsenal where we are winning 7-1. to one. But it doesn't matter. We're winning here tonight. 5-1 in the FA Cup. And we get a resounding victory, hopefully. Timu Puki with four goals on the night. Four goals in the cup now. He should be attempting to go for top goal scorer as well in this cup competition. But for now, we are focused here and now in this game. And we lead 5-1 to one in the 61st minute. I will now go ahead and bring on Skip for Alvarez since we are in the process of making subs anyways. There we go, Buendia, Alvarez, and J Junior, and Givardio come out. Skip, Zimmerman, and Dowell come in. Trying to keep up with Jack Grealish, but doesn't commit a foul apparently. And Lago Jr. does get his goal as well, making it 6 1 in the match. One goal for Jr., four for Puki. And just like that, right? 6 1. The fans love it, we love it. And in the 79th minute, we just absolutely are killing it. I don't know what's going on with us in this episode, but we are extremely well in form nobody can stop us i believe and they give us the ball right back that is going to be game the ref blows his whistle for full time norwich six aston via one and we are through to the next round of the fa cup super comfortable win super comfortable and there's just no way of better saying it right we were the better team uh Aston Villa had the opportunity to draw up level when we were up 2-1, but they just didn't take advantage, and we are now through to the round of 16, I believe, in the FA Cup. Hopefully not too many strong teams, right? We do get a loan decline by Sergino Dest. We get a transfer offer for Timu Puki, who will not be going anywhere, right? We have rejected every offer for him to this day, and we will keep rejecting them as we now go into the game against the arsenal that we will simulate we get some more good news vallejo now sim this game against arsenal and we get a 2-1 defeat sima did score fabian has scored in the 30th minute sima made it 1-1 in the 44th minute obama yang makes it 2-1 in the 47th minute but that doesn't matter we win it 8-3 on aggregate and Sima did see a red in the 73rd minute so we will be without him in the Carabao Cup final which should be scheduled in February which makes February more of a difficult game and we do get some good news Musa and Va all right guys we are back and we have the starting lineups for both teams for ourselves we have Tim Krul and goal Aaron's Javardio Hanley and Giannoli says our back four Alvarez and Asuncao as our two CDMs. We have Junior on the right coming in for Sima, who thankfully is able to take his one match ban in the league, thankfully, right, instead of having to sit out the Carabao Cup final. And then we have Catwell on the left, Buendia, Akam, and Puki up top. Leeds United have a very similar 11 to the last time we played. Meslier in goal, Ailing, Coach, Llorente, and Dallas is their back four. Davies as their CDM, Klitsch and Rodrigo as their center mids, Rafinha on the right, Harrison on the left, and Patrick Bamford up top. Pretty strong Leeds United team, right? Last time we ran away with, I think it was like, what, a 4-0 win or a 5-1 win? Hopefully, we can do the same here at home. We'll just have to wait and see. But we are now in a very comfortable spot, right? We find ourselves, I believe, sixth in the league somehow, even though I literally am not wanting to fight for a top six spot, right? We're not really there yet for potential Europa League. And we do find ourselves an early goal in the fourth minute, thanks to a very active Lago Jr., who gets the first shot off straight at the keeper, and the rebound falls nicely to him giving him an open net and just a tap in is all was needed we'll go ahead and show you the replay here racing past the defender gets the shot off 
nice little rebound back to us the keeper was already on the ground he had no chance of blocking it the defender didn't even realize anything coach just stood there and we find ourselves 1-0 up in this early stages of the game junior now has his eighth goal in the premier league what a way to start the game look at that How Rodrigo got there before Aaron's, I don't know, but now they find themselves level. It is 1 1 in the 38th minute. Leeds United 1, Norwich 1. I don't know how Aaron's didn't get that ball first, but obviously, right, EA has this dumb thing where, you know, they just let the other team score, right, even though you put in so many tackles. This is a similar thing, right? Timu Puki does get to the races. And he doesn't put it past the goalkeeper. Alvarez does get in the way for a nice block there. Still have the ball on the edge of our box. Still looking extremely dangerous. And they do find themselves now 2-1 up in aggregate time in the first half. I don't know what happened, but we are now losing this game. We are having a very difficult time for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess we're just missing out on Sima. Sima normally kind of gets us out of trouble half the time, but we don't have him available. So we are going to have to make do with what we have, and hopefully we can turn this game around in the second half. On, But it is what it is. Hopefully we can keep them out and keep us in this game. We have 22 minutes left to go. I don't even see. He got ball, and you're going to mark a penalty. But whatever. All right, here we go. Hopefully we can keep Patrick Bamford out. And we do, thankfully, Tim Krul diving down to his left-hand side, keeping us in this game. 21 minutes left to go. Hopefully we can find an equalizing goal. Asunka does get that ball out for a corner. 20 minutes left to go. At this point, I'll be happy with a draw. And that is out for a goal kick. So now it is our ball. We have to hit them kind of fast on this counter. All out attack as well. Trying to get this game equalizing goal. Asunkao does win that ball back and we are now on this attack. But Junior is there. Junior makes it 2-2 in the 78th minute. Asunkao did a beautiful job to win the ball in the midfield and we hit him quickly on the counter. And now we are looking for a third goal to win this game. There is still time, so we can do it. Apparently, there's a foul that the ref decides to mark last minute, giving Leeds United the ball back at midfield. And now we are hoping right to get the ball. Gionoli's trying to chase down Rafinha. Rafinha, who does find himself in a good position and makes it 3-2 in the 84th minute. And just like that, right, our hopes and dreams of finding a third game-winning goal isn't going to happen. Hopefully, we can find at least a, a goal to draw the game with, right? Asunka with a nice interception. Buendia, who tries to play through Lago Jr., who I believe was offside, so it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. We will go ahead and team press once again, trying to find this game-equalizing goal. Which we probably won't find until super late on. There we go. And we play through Lago Jr. And Lago Jr. does make it 3-3 in the 90th minute. Just like that, Leeds United give up too much space. Lago Jr. has the acceleration to get away from the defender. And enough power to put it as far away from the keeper as possible. Getting us level not once but twice in this game. Thankfully, Lago Jr. came to play. Look at that. Boom. Right into that left, right into the bottom left corner. And we now find ourselves 3-3. Thankfully, thanks to an informed Lago Jr. who now celebrates his 10th goal in the Premier League. I believe we won't have time to find a fourth goal. But who knows, right? As long as the ref doesn't add too much time, he does add three minutes. We need to get the ball right now, though which isn't looking like it will happen. So it does appear we will draw here against Leeds United. Three to three away from home or at home. 
and that is the ref blowing his final whistle we do end 3-3 Lago Jr. gets the match ball five attempts three goals in the game what a beautiful man I forgot he had all three goals actually yep he did have all three goals Jesus Lago Jr. in form but we drop points very crucial points right that we could have used to contend for how do you say um Sima is now available and Alberto Moreno did deny our loan so he will not be joining us Bundia you're, be you're perfect man at cam I can't ask for anybody better um I would like to say right that we don't have everybody I would like to bring in right but we will attempt to keep going in for loans um Hopefully, right, we can bring them in. If not, well, oh well. 60, 40, what if I offer? Okay, 60, 40 it is. We're thinking 50, 50, all right, that's fair. 50, 50 is fine by me. Hopefully, right. nobody else wants to loan out their players they did get an offer from Liverpool that is why they don't want to loan him out hopefully Dest will come in and we can then add another player to the team we are now going to simulate through the hours hopefully we get some good news back Sergino Dest did reject our offer Everton come in for Giannolis. Giannolis, being as good as he is, will not be leaving the club. Not this late on in the transfer window. We do get a scout report back. He will not be good enough. He will not be good enough. He might just be good enough, but we can't sign him. And he will not be good enough. Just like that, right, we have our scout, the rest of our scout reports, right? He could grow to be good. We don't have the money to sign him, but we'll go ahead and leave both of them there for another month. And our final scout report sees, nope. Yes, if we had the money, and yes, if we were to have the money, but we don't, so they will stay there on the scout report for another month. As we now, an hour closer to deadline day, we were hoping to move on a few players. Nobody really came in for them. So we weren't able to do much. We could still potentially go in for a swap deal, right? Giannolis gets another transfer offer. More interest, but this time from the Portuguese side of FC Porto. We will deny that option. We will quickly head into the transfer hub and see what we can do here right I guess he can play left back so okay so we don't have the financial means to pull this right so it doesn't even matter we don't have anything left Ah, uh, okay. Mm. I want to strengthen the team, but not at the risk of us losing somebody important to the team. We do get an email here. It's probably a transfer offer. Buendia, interest from Inter. We will go ahead and reject that as Milan came in with a better offer. They just can't even compete with Milan real disappointing but on transfer deadline day right in the January transfer window we have already spent 930 million pushing towards a billion and we don't have the means to pull off any type of transfer deal unless we can somehow clear up some money quickly 
Um, we could attempt to sell a few players, right? Or at least send them out on loan, but nobody has come in for them, so it's like I said, right? We can't go through with any of these deals. We do get two more emails. And it is interest in Moreno. We don't have 48 hours, so it doesn't matter. We will go ahead and end the transfer window here, right? We will show you guys the top deals. Aguero from City to Barcelona for 104.3. Thomas Muller from Bayern to Real Madrid for 100.2. And Ruben Neves from Wolves to Barcelona for 88.7. Let's see if we can't. The January, right? Can we do top deals? Can we do? So then we do that, right? And then we go to details. No, okay. So that's fine. Uh, we'll quickly show you guys what everybody in the league did as well as we scroll to the front right Arsenal brought in Berardi and Leva sold Balogun, Xhaka and Enquieta uh, Aston Villa brought in Arnold and sold nobody Brentford brought in Edrada and sold nobody Brighton brought in Perella sold nobody Burnley brought in Vasquez and O'Connell sold me and Tarkowski Chelsea brought in Nunez, Bakambu, and sold Rudiger, Abraham, and Aspie. Um, we did Chelsea. Crystal Palace brought in Gil and Baranov and sold Dan and Zaha. Uh, Everton brought in Lenz and, Calvert and sold Calvert-Lewin. Leeds United brought in Pedroza and sold nobody. Leicester City brought in Navarro and Masroi, sold Pereira and Vardy. Liverpool bought in Adriozola for 39.8, somebody we were trying to get to loan in. City brought in Guerrero and Rodriguez, sold Aguero and Gundogan. Man United brought in Camello Torres and Buku and sold Greenwood. Newcastle bought in Gabriel and sold nobody. We did nothing. Uh, Southampton brought in Dragowski and Traore, sold nobody. Spurs brought in Pereira and Akanji and sold Sanchez and Dyer. Watford brought in Les Melu and Ajer and sold Messina. Wrong way, my bad. West Ham brought in Cadete and sold Holland. Wolves brought in De La Vega and Denier and sold Sice and Neves. And that's it. That is how we end the transfer deadline day, right? Obviously, we didn't bring in the players we wanted to, but that's okay. The transfer window is now closed. We look at our potential youth academy players, right? As we say that, I don't see... I don't see us really starting any of them, right? I might... Because there's no real player that stands out to me right now. Except for Bound, who is up three now. Hopefully he can grow to be even better. And that's really our only real good player we have here. Uh, you will get released just because you won't be good enough. You will get released because you most likely won't be... Well... I'll have to wait and see because he is already 59 rated, right? So we'll wait and see there. Abeledo is getting better. He has gone up by one now since the last time. But with that being said, right, we do come to a close here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, right? Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hopefully, right... We can do a little bit better in February and see if we can't win ourselves some silverware. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.